Thorberg in Emmental. It looks idyllic from the distance, but up close you can see that it's a heavily guarded prison. There are 174 inmates at the moment. 16 are serving life with the chance of parole for murder, manslaughter or multiple rape. Some of them are kept on the third floor among regular offenders. We have a deliberate policy of not putting prisoners serving life sentences in their own wing, as this would ghettoize the inmates. We think mixing inmates serving life with those serving what we call normal sentences is a good thing, as the more serious criminals don't feel too isolated. This is a single cell, occupied by an inmate serving a normal prison sentence. This sort of cell could also be given to someone serving a long sentence. During the day, the cells are only occupied at lunchtime. If the prisoners are healthy enough and are not considered too dangerous, they can work in the paint workshop. They're spraying paddles used in the traditional Swiss sport, Hornesen. Even though they're behind bars, they're aware of the 20-year sentence recently handed out to Daniel H. for the murder of a 16-year-old au pair. They fear there may now be a toughening up of sentencing policy, which may affect their own cases. Prisoners who are allowed out, and those who are about to be allowed out, are afraid that they may now lose their privilege. Some of the people who've been working here for five years and are waiting for their first supervised holiday are afraid they might end up back at square one. That's something they talk about among themselves. They feel quite insecure. Sometimes you have to sit down with them and talk about it. After work, the inmates return to their designated floors. The normal and the lifetime prisoners are allowed a few hours of free movement outside their cells before night falls. There are a few cases where we have to keep them in confinement under relatively strict conditions because they're dangerous or because of their psychological state. But this only applies to three or four of the 16 long-term prisoners we have here. These prisoners serving life sentences are eligible for parole after having served 15 years or 10 years in exceptional cases. Prisoners are only incarcerated for life with no expectation of parole if psychologists believe there's no chance of rehabilitation. I personally find it hard to believe that any prisoners are untreatable. But maybe there are some people who are beyond help and you just have to protect the public from them. Many felt that Daniel H, who committed two attacks on women, should have received the strictest possible sentence. But as he's only 28, psychologists agreed that there was still a chance of him being successfully treated.